I'm top in the world in the strength game, so I thought I'd come to the top of the world in the influencer dude, game. Dude, posing your spine. Hey, dude. What's up? What? I'm okay. No, you don't. Yeah. We're going to do a bit of training, and then we're going to shoot some fun Two, content tomorrow. Three. And if you don't already, go follow Jesse, but you probably already do, and you're Thank probably you. here because of Jesse. And if you no, are, no. come subscribe to my channel. Subscribe leave, to him! Leave a moose dropping, and uh, enjoy, guys. A couple of options workout-wise. Okay. We've got axle clean and press, definitely. So okay. have you ever done continental cleans? God, no. Okay, we'll teach you those. Okay. And then um, we could either go over to do Atlas Stones. Okay. Or, like Atlas Stones to shoulder. Okay. I got some stuff with um, like dinny handles, so we might get you into some hook grip, ruin your thumbs. Okay, okay. Or we could go that more traditional axle and then go into a normal push day. But my, my actual I, I program like is cool shit. Yeah. That's my actual program, all the strong Let's do that, stuff. Yeah, and if it's, if it's too hard, I'll just go light and figure it out. Well, I don't need to die. You'll be going light in the I yeah. <laughs> I'll have like a 15 pound medicine ball. I'm like, oh. are you like big on warming up? Uh, so we're going to do a YouTube series called No Stone Unturned. Okay. Oh, I like Before that. Before that, I, I've done no warm ups. So I just get stuck into it and do my thing. Yeah. And I've got a big background, like post up here background in exercise. Okay. So, like, between moving the plates and warm up sets, you're mostly fine. But with no stone unturned, I'm like, I'm gonna do everything that I've said I haven't done. So I'm ah. going to physio regularly and massage. Oh, wow. So now I do all of this shit. Hell just yeah. Just to see, like, doesn't Let's make Let's go. Oh, so okay. first thing, you're gonna go up the your wall. Your quads are huge. <laughs> Shut your eyes and just take 10 big deep breaths. <sighs> Come onto your side. Yep. Arm up over your head. And you're gonna go like. Make sure you reach, reach. <laughs> there we go. You oh. said spoon. <laughs> Grab your ribs yep. with your top hand. Okay. And we're just going to rotate up, breathe out until your knee starts rising, and drop back down. So something else I'm, I'm doing that's new is <laughs> just so good. So axle clean and press, first of all. Okay. You go here to here to here. Okay. And then up. So this is, we're practicing the first movement. So go supinated, oh my elbows God. in the wall. And we'll try and hold this for 30 seconds. All right. Just making sure it's real. <laughs> no BBL. Uh, OK, let's head over to the bar or the, the actual. We'll talk about how to do it. And we'll talk about how to mitigate that. First of all, you yeah. start eating more. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I got to teach you that more than anything. All right, all I got, I'm a Nike Pandas. And I got some knee sleeves. And I got an SBD belt. It'll work. All right, listen, I don't need the, the fancy stuff. I don't need the fancy get up. <laughs> now, how much weight do you think you'll work out with today with this? Um, on program, I've got up to about 350. 350 pounds, holy crap. Which is just technique work. I'm a skinny boy. I don't have a belly. <laughs> no, 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 no. Go back to the belt. Oh, here? Because that's going to flip over. Yeah. There you go. Three. <laughs> if you don't throw it down hard, it doesn't count. I mean, I'll hit like 700 today. It's not a big deal. Yeah, so that's what I do. It's, I find it that pinches easy. my skin. Yes. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> All right, another 45. You're good for it, yeah? Another 45. Holy crap. Let's see it. <laughs> He's got a belly for it. He's got a belly for it. Easy. What's your max overhead press if you were to just do barbell? Push press? Yeah. I've done 485. That's some Larry What's Wheel shit. What's your max shit. deadlift? My max deadlift is 45. <laughs> this is going to be a disaster. <laughs> this is not happening. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Okay. okay. Now sit. Get your arms underneath. Yeah, you got to put it like on your knees. Yeah. Yeah. Search it up to your shoulders. Yeah, pop it up. Pop it up to your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> That's my lift right there. You go. What do you you want another plate? Another 45, yeah. Mitchell's at 315 right now. You know, I couldn't get the 225. I'll probably go for like a 185. My next set. A little more modest. No. I, I forgot to chalk. That's why. Yeah, the strongman bit that we're missing. Oh. That's why I didn't yeah, get it. That's right. That's okay. Next time. Next time. Yep. 
Negative. Negative. <laughs> can I can I butter your belly? Yeah, baby, go Come for here, it. Come here, boy. Oh, this will be my last warm up set before oh, I oh. start. Oh, just warm up. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Come on! That was loud. Holy crap! Holy crap! It's easy for him. Get it up! Get it up! Easy. Holy shit! <laughs> I love how I'm so worried about putting it down. He's just like, what do? <laughs> but he knows exactly where it's going. One, two, three. <laughs> and in today's episode of Jesse Tears a Bicep, put the hand midair. Yep. And it works really well if you just go before I say anything. <laughs> get your elbows, get your shoulders up. Yeah, there you go. Pop it. Come on, come on. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Bro, <laughs> well, we. The editor has to zoom in. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I know. I saw the I claw. Was... <laughs> I saw the claw. <laughs> you pr you practice safe sets? Safe sets, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like Mama taught me. My my wife got pregnant eight months ago, and ever since I've been practicing safe sets because now I know the consequences. Yes. Careful, yeah. my friend. Yeah. But congrats. Come on. Let's go. Easy. Let's go! Holy crap, bro, it's with ease. It's with ease. All right, so right now, he's doing a three by three. Three sets of three reps. Second rep, let's go. Come on, you got this. Good, good. Come on. Last rep. Get it up, go. Good. Holy crap, brother. Let's go. Easy. Easy. Oh my God. You know, that's mind blowing. What is it like being the world's strongest man? Strange. Is it weird? Very strange. Do people look at you different? They treat you different, for sure. Do they praise you? Uh, it depends on the person. They say, oh, this way, this <laughs> way, sir. <laughs> Just a straight row. Pinch me. Thrust it. Mm. Out of work. Good. I'm not gonna use the claw this time. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I got a three by three. Split jerky, yeah? Okay, one motion, nice and fast. Up. Oh, better. Mm. There you go. Give me a split jerk. <laughs> Textbook. Textbook. One Come more. on. One more, let's go, Jess. One more, let's go. Pull it high. Good. Oh shit, wait. Drive hard. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! That was better. World's oh. strongest boy. I'll give you that one. Here for I sure. come. Well done. I'm getting it. I'm learning. The cool thing about someone who does it for the first time is you can always see, like, he misses the clean, falls to his waist, and then he just rows it up. And you're like, okay, there's a lot there. There's a lot more there. I have so, strength. I don't have any technique yet. Exactly. I'm, I'm, but, I'm learning. If you did this and you're hitting 185 today, guarantee four to six weeks, good technique, you'd be doing 225. 365 pounds, world's strongest man! Come on! There we go. Easy. Go! Go in. Felt the floor rattle a little bit. There we go. And. Good. Come on. Ooh. Holy crap. Holy crap. Woo. How'd that feel? Almost got me. That almost killed you. Yeah. You all good? All good. Holy crap, oh, yeah, dude. Hold on, come here. I need a little. <laughs> Chalk! I haven't used chalk all freaking day. Sprinkle it on, sprinkle it on! Let's go! Magic fairy dust! Okay, we'll let's go! Magic fairy dust! Come on! Let's go, man. Throw it back behind your head. Yeah! The worst split trick of all time, but that was a good push. Okay, three, yeah? Come on. Mm. 
Yeah. There you go. Go ahead, last one. Last rep of your overheads. Mm. Out of boy. Make it fly. Come on now. Mm. Go ahead, throw it back over your head. Mm. Yeah. That's right. Out of boy. That's right. Go so your nickname is the Moose. Yes. I feel like it should just be giant baby. You have a, That's why I have the mustache. You got a, you got a baby head. <laughs> a little, a little fuzzy yeah. baby the head. Big baby. The it's big sad. baby. That's sad. I that can't. sounds way better. The big baby's the big better baby's than the moose. Back for 2024. <laughs> I'm telling you, roll with it. Put it on a t-shirt. Give me 10%. It's fine. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> he has no need for chalk on his back. All right. The moose, aka the big baby, picks up the barbell. He gets it on his belly. Oh, it's on his shoulders. Come on, come on, you got this. You got this, easy, do it. Oh, that was the best one yet. Oh, he's going, oh my God, he's going for another, okay. The big baby goes for a second. Struggles a little on his belly. Gets it up to his shoulders. Can he do it? The whole gym is watching, holy shit. There we go. Let's go. That's 15 kilos above comp weight. Okay. At the Arnold. Well, I'll probably have to do five. Okay. Uh, I probably could another one there, so. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. There that's we go. That's what I'm telling you. I haven't started prep yet, and that's where it's at. So. Thor. All good. Tom. Martins. Everybody better watch out. It's time. What? It's time. It's time. It's time to win. It's time to, it's time win. to win. I'm going to enter. You get first, I get second. Yeah. Just make sure. Just finish slightly behind me, yeah? I don't show me up. I won't show you up. You got your YouTube thing? Yeah, yeah. Leave me the fuck alone. I, I don't need it. Yeah. I'll use the title, I almost won Arnold's. <laughs> Next one, we're gonna grab Atlas Stone. Okay, you and, want this one? Uh, sure. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> now, the goal is like, that's actually about my shit this morning. But the same. <laughs> the goal Brother. is get it from there okay. up to your shoulder. Okay. Bang. Okay? Yeah, but we don't, we're not gonna split jerk this Okay. Time. Bang. Bang. It's kind of small, you know, it's... Good, no problems. Okay, good. Let's forget that, let's move to something proper. Yeah, this is too small. Don't we need the, the sticky stuff? Uh, is that cheating? To the shoulder, we don't do it okay. normally. On these stones, you can, but next cup we're using a natural stone, and you don't want to use tacky on natural okay. stone, or it gets all in the pores, they don't let you. Oh, uh, okay, okay. And then, if you're going to your shoulder, then you got like tacky in your hair and yep. your ear. Rip and when I get out. tacky in my hair, it'll rip it out. It's a disaster. I know, you have too much, too much locks it's to mess with. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see the big man do it. Let's see a professional. Okay. It must be like really light. Okay. Holy shit. Yeah, simple as that. It's just like that easy. Go! Yeah! Now what? Shit, shit get your hands over top. Okay, good. Now shoot your hips. Underneath, get your hips under the ball. Uh, roll it on. That's pretty good though. I got it. That was pretty good. That's as high as it's going. Here we go, big guy. There we go. Good work. Good work. Ooh. Holy hell. Why don't we graduate you from that guy to sandbag? Okay. Sandbag would be better. Okay. Yeah, we'll have good ways for that. Okay. Way so, more tiring than I thought it was gonna be. You've done sandbags before. Never. So same thing? Sort of, but it'll sink into your hand. So you wanna get your hand under mm. and like shuffle it under. There you go. So your hands are under the bag before you okay. move it. Like this? Yep. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, go. Go, one more. Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> <laughs> no broken back this time. You're coming for it. Let's go. Holy <laughs> crap. That was intense. So technically, I'm supposed to do six sets of three. So I'm going to do one set of three now. Then I'll do the other five on that. They'll also be cooked. You do that. Yeah. Now they're like training thing again. I could probably do six sets of three. But if I did, the rest of my day would be fucked. I'd be fucked tomorrow. The day after I get on a plane and go back home, I'll try and train yeah. and I'll get hurt. So you have to like... You have to plan a lot. You have to forward think a lot. And that's why usually when someone wins worlds, they have a really hard time for a while. 
because we're traveling all over the shop trying to manage so many things. And then all of a sudden, like you don't feel right, your body's not in the right shape. And unless you're proactively thinking about it all, there's no way you can manage it. Let's go, baby. Fucking insane. Bro, that's insane. Here we go. It's just that pause where he's like, yeah. Here we go. Good. Oh, holy shit. You can see mid sweat, mid set sweat slipping. My number that one superpower wild. is that I can, I can go like this. I've but, seen you lift like that. It's yeah. terrifying. So for something like that, it's so helpful because I'm just like rolling it. I'm not lifting it, then standing. Holy crap. That's tough. I'm not gonna lie, that was one of the most impressive lifts I've seen in person. Do you have any slip discs? Yeah. Do you it's, feel them? Not after they heal. Okay, okay. So this heal like everything else. Okay. I tore my hamstring in August and beginning of September, I bulged the disc. Then the last week of October, I won the Rogue Invitational. It's like, if you wow. rehab it proper, what do you, you get back. What would you say is the best thing for a back injury? Like if you're trying to heal your back, what do yeah. you do? I, 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 attitude is a lot of like, trusting that you will get better and knowing the healing times and then doing absolutely everything you can to move. So for example, myself, I bulge a disc. I'm not gonna look to stop activity. At first, it's gonna be hard to walk. Yeah. So you just try and walk as much as you can and stay moving. Then for me, a 200 kilo deadlift is not heavy. So go back in and do something meaningful. Where if you're young, fit and healthy, sometimes we're too cautious about things because the prescription is for an old person who's bulged a disc. Ah. Like bending and picking something up is a big effort. Yes. So it's a little bit too conservative that way. But if you don't move, since your discs are soft tissue, meaning that they don't have their own blood supply, the only way that they heal is through changes in pressure. So you have to move and get fluid in and out and in and out for it to get nutrients to heal. That's the only okay. way to do it. So if you go stagnant, that healing process is gonna be massively delayed. Wow, hell yeah. There you go. For anyone with back problems, get moving and don't listen to your doctor. <laughs> I'm joking. Just do whatever you want. I'm not responsible. Easy. One. There you go. Come on. Two. Good. Let's do it. Three. Easy. Holy shit. I am fried right now, guys. And I didn't get a pump. But you know what? Not every day is for a pump. Let's go. Three more. One. Good. Good. Two. One. Get three. Good. Three. Woo. That's it, baby. Let's go. Uh, How many more sets work. do we have of other stuff? We got, gonna teach you some hook grip. Oh God, I forgot about that. That's horrible. All right, let's get it. But that's it. Hook grip, baby. Hook grip when we're done. You're telling me I gotta do this? I'm gonna keep, yeah. <laughs> I believe in you, Jessica. I believe in you. Tell you what, okay, I'll make you a deal. If you can hold it for 20, I'll add a plate and I'll do 500 pounds for 20. Deal. Yeah? And get ready to count. Let's go, get laughing, buddy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, ah. 11, 12, 13, 14, come on, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
19, 20. Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> my thumbs are skinny. <laughs> oh! I was worried that my thumb skin was just going to rip. It will. Don't get hurt, though. If it's bad, just put it down. Just, I'm worried for you. You got this. You gonna count? Yeah, ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Damn, baby. Fuck me. That's right. That's a champion right there. That's a champion. Come on. Since we can't tap each other up because we broke our thumbs. Ladies and gentlemen, we may not be able to freaking type with our fingers anymore or wipe our butts, but we did it. We did it one way or another with the world's strongest man. All right. That was training with Jesse Jens West. We are going to go grab some food. He actually smashed it. Like the pain tolerance on hook gripping really good. And your split jerks. Need some more. Your clean and jerk wasn't that impressive in the weight, but it was impressive in how you were doing it. Like, incredibly inefficient, but still getting it done. That's yeah. what I do, baby. It's not bad. Uh, I do bad. So, time to get some food. I'm a little dangerous with this. Well, you're going to have to be dangerous with your food. We're going to do Jesse versus Mitchell. We're eating. We got steak. We got chicken. We got two baked potatoes. He thinks he stands a chance. I, it ain't I, I'm going to win. Make it happen. You know what I can put in my mouth? A lot of big things. Three, two, one, go. It's all about who can cut faster. Or maybe I should pace myself. I am not, I gotta swallow. Like, is your mouth bigger than mine? Way bigger. But I wanna win, but I don't know if I can. He's got one potato left. I'm actually like, I need a second. I would love dessert, but I think it might come back up. So. You're gonna freaking lose minus one massive potato. I just can't swallow, I gotta shove it in. No, please do not. That is disgusting. Joey Chestnut, I see you. I saw a potato. You want my potato? <laughs> All right, clearly he wins. I'll be honest, that was a lot of food. Is that a lot of food for you? Just give me a head nod. Thanks for watching. <laughs> well, he can't talk, I'll finish it for him. We are wrapping it up here at Texas Roadhouse. Tomorrow we're gonna be doing a big video about testing the strength of a commercial barbell and a really strong barbell. He's really strong. I feel like he's gonna break it in half. We'll see you there. I need one of these bad. If anyone's selling something like this, let me know. We are in the warehouse behind Exile Fitness. We're going to bend a Walmart barbell, and then we're going to bend an Alico barbell off a fourth lift. If you want to see the whole video, head over to Jesse's channel. Otherwise Can the world's strongest man bend the world's strongest bar? Starting with level one, 20 kgs to bend this bar. Let's go, baby. You got this? Easy, 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 easy. You might have broken it. I think you broke it. We got 50 kg bar, level two. Easy. I think he's kind of getting the rhythm right now. Maybe he feels a little confident. Level three, 80 kgs. Heavy, He's heavy. Much heavier. Are you confident though? Yeah. Okay, he, uh, Okay. Ooh. you almost didn't get it. It's a little wobble. Before you go to this one, just yeah. know that it's about to get very, very hard. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. 90 kgs on the bar, let's There's go. There's like a balance to it too, eh? A little bit. Yeah. You gotta make sure you do it perfect. Come on, come on. Okay, barely, barely. No, nah, that was better than that one. Really? Yeah. Since when? This is the golden bar. This is 110 kgs. Do you want to chalk up? What do you got to say before you hit this? You know, it, it, takes a lot of, man. it takes a lot of pressure off being the world's strongest man because if I can't do it, no one can. That's right, baby. <laughs> 110 kg, bend the golden bar, win the golden ticket. Here we go, come on. Can he do it? Can he do it? It's, it's not moving. <laughs> no, no, you can't use your leg. Maybe. That is so stiff. Try again. Come on. It's not happening. It's not happening? No way. Come on, you're the world's strongest man. No. <laughs> so, world's strongest man can't bend it. I don't think anybody can. Challenge is out. Challenge is out. If you can bend this, I'll give you $1,000. <laughs> Damn, is it really that hard? It's hard. Proper hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, 
There's nothing. That's Why does it not way. move? I feel like we gotta like break it in a little bit. Dude, careful, dude. Careful, careful, careful. You're gonna pinch the shit out of yourself. Let's try again. No, dude. Is it really <laughs> that important? No <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. Okay, so I brought the world's strongest man to see if we could put this barbell to the test. Do we max out or do we bend it? That was a weekend with the top fitness influencer in the world. I had a blast with Jesse. That was absolutely insane with the barbell. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you've made it this far, you might as well subscribe. Leave a moose drop if you have nothing else to say. Thank you very much for watching. Lift heavy, be kind, and we will catch you next time.